Here we demonstrate opening and starting a late model Ford Edge with push button start and a dead key fob battery. The model also has a hidden keyhole. And yes, there is a backup way to get in and get started. Our first step is to retrieve the mechanical key hiding in the fob. And it is hiding. This Ford key remains as awkward to use as any we've come across. The key is between the two halves of the fob which need to be opened up as shown. You will need to get a fingernail into a tiny slot in the slide lever as shown. Slide it down while using the same fingernail to pull the cover away. And this becomes the second time we have a Ford product missing its mechanical key. If this happens to you, you will need roadside assistance to get in the vehicle. For this demonstration, our vehicle is already open. We had access to a Mustang previously that included the key. Once the two key fob halves are separated, you'll see the tip of the mechanical key tucked under a protrusion in one half of the fob. The keyhole is hidden by a cap at the rear of the driver's door handle. To remove the cap, look for the slot at the bottom of the cover as shown. Insert the key blade into the slot and press up. We did not even feel any movement, but we were able to move the cap rearward, which is necessary to release it. And yes, the effect is that of prying off a piece of your car, but it's okay and it needs to be done. Once the lock cylinder or keyhole is exposed, insert the key and turn, and you're in. Now we'll start the car. Starting in 2015 in the edge, a fob rest is found beneath the auxiliary, USB, and power ports in the front of the center console, as shown. Older models may have an actual slot in roughly the same area. Rest the key fob on the spot with the buttons facing up and the key ring out. Slip it into the slot in older models, the key ring up. It's loose in both cases, but the car will recognize the key, even though its internal battery is dead. Use the start-stop ignition button and step on the brake pedal to start your vehicle as usual. Once the car is started, the key can be removed. And our buddy is anxious to get going. Don't forget to get new batteries for your fobs. For help with other push-button start cars with dead key fobs from this or other manufacturers, look for more videos from us here on YouTube or go to dashboardsymbols.com.